On December 7, 1941, Japan attacked the United States naval base at Pearl Harbor. On December 8, America declared war on Japan and entered World War II. It was a day that would forever alter the course of history. Americans quickly rallied around the war effort, buying war stamps and bonds, taking part in papers, scrap and metal drives, and enlisting in record numbers. Rationing was common, as people sacrificed nationwide for the benefit of servicemen and the war effort. And women entered the workforce and the military, stepping in for the men who had gone overseas. The movies were more popular than ever, as America went to the theater to see a galaxy of stars, including Abbott and Costello, Humphrey Bogart, James Cagney, and Rita Hayworth. Even comic book superheroes fought the good fight against the Nazis. The zoot suit, with a reet pleat, became the preferred fashion for hepcats from coast to coast. Jackie Robinson integrated Major League Baseball, and with little fanfare, the world's first programmable electronic computer, dubbed Colossus, was unveiled in 1943. The war came to an end in 1945 when two atomic bombs were dropped on Japan, ushering in the Atomic Age. And the baby boomer generation began the following year with the return of American soldiers from overseas. Although the shadow of the Cold War could already be seen creeping over the horizon, the post-war era in America was a time of plenty and prosperity. Having come through the Depression virtually unscathed, Allied continued leading the way in innovation through its catalog offerings. 1941 saw the first wireless record players, as well as the first FM radios. As radios gradually grew smaller and more portable, consumers could now buy sets that tuned in shortwave and police bands, and the company's ham radio section expanded to accommodate a growing number of radio hobbies. Also in 1941, Allied offered a small line of household electronics, including the Waldorf liquid mixer, several electric irons, and a two-slice automatic pop-up toaster. By 1942, Allied's catalog covers were reflecting the war, as the company increasingly moved into the military and industrial markets. Indeed, by 1943, Allied was entirely dedicated to serving the armed forces, war industry, and the home front. Consumer content was entirely absent from this catalog, and the popular night kits were restyled night training kits. Even simple components were repurposed for military applications, with photoelectric products now offered as anti-sabotage equipment and an industrial PA system designed to speed up the war effort. To comply with wartime resource restrictions, no Allied catalogs were issued in 1944 and 45. The end of the war signaled the return to consumer electronics for Allied, and the 1946 catalog featured a limited line of radios for the home, the car, and even a battery-run version for the farm. Portable recording devices made their debut, as did cathode ray tubes for television, a line that will expand in the coming years, even as radio declines. As part of that expansion, in 1948, Allied offered their first 12-inch television kit, including everything you need for picture and sound. As the decade came to a close, Allied focused on its ham radio line, giving their assortment of high-quality receivers pride of place in their 1949 catalog. As well, early television sets costing as much as $595 were offered for the first time. Reveling in the post-war boom economy, Allied was well positioned to enter the next decade, a decade that would be marked by promise, prosperity, and paranoia.